Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about five mistakes I made as a dog mom. So I've had Nova for about four months now and you know, that just means more mistakes are to come. But I love sharing my tips and tricks with you guys. I know a lot of you are new dog moms or not or dog parents like I am, or you're getting your dog soon. So I wanted to share some mistakes I've made that I don't want you to make. I don't want you to make. So, oh my goodness. You wanted to be in the intro? So without further ado, let's get started. So the first mistake I've made with Nova is definitely buying the wrong sizes for her. So in my mind, I don't know what I was thinking, but at the beginning when I bought her her collars and everything, I got her a size that she would eventually grow into, <laughs> um, which doesn't even make sense because, you know, to grow, you have to start off being small. <laughs> I will now gladly accept my Nobel Prize. Thank you. Thank you. So when I got her, her neck was probably like four inches, four and a half to five inches. And the colors I got her were for eight inches and up. So that, is not gonna work <laughs> and like eight inches as in being the smallest size so in my mind I was just thinking oh I want to save money I want to get her a size that she can grow into instead of buying her multiple collars but that just doesn't make sense so don't be stupid like me and get yourself a collar that fits in the video where I bring her home you can see her wearing her new collar and it's massive she's wearing it like a swing <laughs> So yes, don't make that same mistake as I did. And a lot of people on that video have been suggesting that I get her a cat collar and a harness because it's safer, which I totally agree. She has two harnesses now that actually fit her. Um, and I did end up getting her a cat collar at the beginning because even the smallest dog collar that I could find was way too big for her neck. So she did wear a cat collar for a little while and then now she fits into this collar that I got for her. The smallest size is a six inch neck, so that fits her really well right now. And at the beginning, her extra, extra small harness didn't even fit her, but now it fits her perfectly fine. So yes, thank you guys so much for that suggestion. But yeah, that's mistake number one. The second mistake I made with Nova is buying some of her treats in bulk. Specifically buying treats in bulk that she's never had before, um, thinking that she'll probably like it and she doesn't. <laughs> so I highly recommend you buying the smaller bags of treats and trying them out with your dog first to see if they even like them before you buy the bulk size. Um, the, whole, the, the only reason why I ever buy in bulk is because in the end it's a little bit less expensive that way and that does work for me when I buy her uh, freeze-dried beef liver treats she really loves those a lot of her training treats she really enjoys um, but she's got two treats that she doesn't really like that I have huge bags of um, that don't serve any purpose for us anymore <laughs> hello <laughs> oh thank you okay <laughs> Nova what the heck <laughs> Hello? Can I help you? <laughs> oh my goodness. This also goes along with those dental treats that I got for Nova, the greenies. Well, I'm sure they're still fine and fresh once she hits six months, but I just really wanted to be prepared. So I got those way in advance before she even needed them. The third mistake I've made with Nova is not desensitizing her enough. And by desensitizing, I mean touching her paws enough, each individual fingernail, touching her mouth, touching her ears, things like that, so that it's easier to trim her nails, get her hair cut, 
things like that now she's totally fine with her ears and her mouth for the most part um, but it's mainly her fingernails and I know nail trimming is very scary for um, puppy parents um, it's really stressful for me as well so I highly suggest that you work on touching your puppy's paws as much as you can getting them used to the sensation holding on to each individual finger because that's what you have to do when you cut the nail what my mistake was was i spent a lot of time holding her entire paw not so much each individual fingernail so if i could go back in time that is definitely something that i would prioritize and work on and something i suggest you do as well um, I've had to take her to the groomers to get her nails trimmed so she's a lot better now she's more used to this sensation so now she's totally fine when I touch her fingernails and paws but if you can avoid that and help with your puppy's anxiety over getting their paws touched like that that is super ideal the fourth mistake I've made with Nova is not teaching her the leave it command early enough we haven't had a whole lot of issues with the leave it command we are in the process of really um, excelling at this command right now but i wish i taught it to her a lot earlier i'd say it's one of the more important things you should teach your puppy um, it can really help you and potentially even save their life if they get into something that they really shouldn't luckily for me i've had no problems and experiences where believe a command would have really really helped and avoided some kind of injury or harm to nova but that being said we never know what's going to happen so i highly highly suggest um, leave it is high on your list of what to teach your puppy right away nova really loves chewing on like basically anything so anytime i take her outside and there's leaves on the ground there's sticks sometimes people don't pick up after their own dogs she will try to eat it and put it in her mouth and this is when the leave it command would come in handy and we are working on it she's gotten so much better but i feel like this would have been avoided and a lot easier if I started teaching it to her from the very beginning. And the last mistake I made, probably the biggest mistake I made, was with Noah's potty training. Now, I have talked about this once before, so if you remember, or if not, basically what happened was I started off with Nova being potty trained outdoors, which is prime. I should have stuck with that, but instead I got lazy and I got her potty pads so that I wouldn't have to wake up so early in the morning to take her out every hour. Now that is a huge mistake I made and for some people potty pads are awesome and they work for you, but not for Miss Nova. <laughs> if it works for you that is awesome, but personally it doesn't work for me and Nova. With a little bit more research I learned that. Sometimes dogs don't get fully potty trained when using potty pads. So yes, and a couple different factors, I just decided the best potty training method for Nova and I is to take her outdoors. So basically we went from going outdoors, which was awesome, she refused to go inside, to going on potty pads, she would get confused and literally pee everywhere and anywhere and now we are back to retraining her to go outdoors so as you can imagine it's been quite the struggle but we are making a lot a lot of progress we have had some accident free days which is amazing um, and for the most part she's doing so much better like when we had to re-switch her back to outdoors, the struggle at the beginning was getting her to actually go outdoors. She kind of refused to go potty outdoors, um, but now she can. And then the next struggle we had was she wouldn't go potty anywhere but our front lawn. So if we were on walks, if we were at the dog park, she refused to go. She would hold it in until we got home so she could go on the front lawn. But now we are past that and she's able to go anywhere, so that's awesome but she also still has accidents, which is understandable. That is totally my fault as well. Um, most of the time her accidents now are when I just 
neglect her because I'm busy doing something and I don't take her in time and she has to go so she goes so that is on me as well I so wish that I just stuck with taking her outside at the beginning so the number one if you take anything from this video is to it's to stay consistent with your potty training do not make that mistake because I am suffering the consequences right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and learned something from it. Learn from my mistakes, you guys. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm not a professional dog trainer. I'm just a fellow puppy parent like you trying to help each other out. So yes, if you enjoyed this week's video, be sure to hit the like button to let me know, as well as leave a comment down below letting me know what other videos you want to see from me in the future, doggy related or not. And be sure to subscribe to my channel as well I try to come out with a new video every single Wednesday I know it hasn't been happening lately life happens um, I'm really sorry about that but you guys have been so supportive and it means a lot to me but yeah that's all I have for you guys this week I'll see you guys next time bye we will see you guys next time bye say bye <laughs> Bye guys!